first, live, local. This is WEAR 3 in the morning in high definition. Good morning, and thank you for joining us here on 3 in the morning. Right now, the Florida Highway Patrol is on the scene of a serious accident in Escambia County. It happened just before 6 this morning on Cerny Road in West Pensacola. An SUV ran off the road through a fence and flipped over. The driver was ejected from the vehicle. He's been taken to Baptist Hospital. No word yet on his condition. The cause of the accident is under investigation. A fourth person is charged in connection with a cantonment animal cruelty case. George All was arrested last night on charges of causing cruel death, pain and suffering of animals and unlawful confinement of animals. He remains in the Escambia County Jail. According to case documents, multiple horses, donkeys and goats were seized from the 400 block of Crowndale Court. Several other animals were found dead on the property. Escambia County Animal Control Officers began their investigation last December. The deadly shooting of a teenager by Pensacola police in December was justified, according to the state's attorney's office. On December 24th, police say they spotted 17-year-old William Goodman III speeding through Pensacola. When they tried to stop him, he rammed two police cars and hit an officer. That's when he was shot. The review says Goodman was driving drunk that morning and had left what could be considered a suicide note at his home. He was facing charges for a wreck last year that killed a man. The state attorney's office said Goodman's actions constituted an imminent threat and the use of deadly force was reasonable. A Pensacola woman is home after 17 years in prison and it took an act of the president to make it happen. The U.S. Justice Department is no longer pursuing mandatory minimum sentences for some low-level nonviolent drug offenders. Stephanie George was arrested on federal drug charges in 1997. She was convicted and sentenced to life in federal prison as a mandatory minimum sentence. George walked out of prison last week after President Obama signed clemency for her. My daughter, she's 24. She was six when I left. And my oldest son, he was eight when I left, and he's 26. President Obama has supported the Justice Department's Smart on Crime initiative, which could reduce the federal prison population by more than 6,500 inmates over the next five years. We have an update about Tuesday night's fire at an Escambia County kennel. All of the animals boarded up at the kennel were able to get out alive, but during the rescue, one of the dogs got loose. The dog's name is OB, and he's a black and white border collie weighing about 60 pounds. OB's owner, Woody Woodward, says he is glad his dog was rescued from the fire, but he hopes that someone finds OB and returns him home. Well, get ready to kick off the party with your favorite Disney superstars live at the Pensacola Bay Center this weekend. Disney on Ice presents Rockin' Ever After. The show will feature your favorite Disney princesses like Belle, Ariel, Rapunzel, and many other classic Disney characters. Channel 3's Callie Desimo joins us live this morning from the Pensacola Bay Center with what a look at what it takes to be a part of Disney on Ice. Well, the owners of World of Beer are now hiring for their new bar on Casino Beach. The Casino Beach Bar is under construction now at the end of the pier. The bar will open for business May 21st. Owners are offering three interview sessions over the next week. The first round of interviews will be held this Saturday at World of Beer from 10 until 1 in the afternoon. Interviews will also be held Wednesday, April 30th. You can show up at the Casino Beach Bar from 10 a.m. until 1 or at Blend Lounge between 2 and 5 p.m. The Florida Senate has approved raising the speed limit by five miles an hour. The measure would raise the speed limit to 75 miles an hour on most interstate highways. Rural four lane divided highways would increase to 70 miles per hour. The bill now goes to the House for consideration. If signed into law, it does not mean the speed limit will automatically go up. The Florida Department of Transportation will perform studies before any increase is finalized. As we approach high school graduation in the next few months, many high school graduates, college is what they're thinking about. It seems like the next logical step. But according to new data, college enrollment is dropping. 
Sunlin Sarafti joins us live from Washington to explain. Sunlin. Well, happening today, Florida State Senators will honor Baghdad, Florida native Bubba Watson for winning his second Masters Golf Championship. Yesterday, Watson visited with fans at the Osceola Golf Course and threw the ceremonial first pitch at the Blue Wahoos game last night. Watson also visited three schools in Escambia and Santa Rosa County Thursday. He donated several thousand dollars to Baghdad Elementary, Milton High, and Hobbs Middle School. Well, thank you very much for joining us. This was 3 in the morning. I'm Rob Brown. We'll see you next time.